Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin and today I have got a banger of a video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how you can actually rank up your faction and complete your faction quest the absolute fastest way in the world. And what this is going to allow you to do is get all of the gear, particularly when you hit level 40 as that's when this becomes available. And then obviously how to get the gear at Exubiter, at Lumen and of course at Adjudicator at the 5th and final rank there if you are Covenant or the respective roles for your own faction. Now, this is going to be in Great Cleave. It's going to be the best possible farm spot for these. Essentially, it's a 30 second run there, 30 second run back, and it is going to be for PvP quests. So if you're someone who doesn't really enjoy PvP quests, either probably go to a safe area to where the PvE ones are slightly closer, or maybe just flag up when it's a quiet time or something, because this is very, very good and certainly worth it. Even if PvP is not your thing, even if you die, it's literally 20 second setback. It's very, very quick to do it, and it's probably the fastest method in the entire game for getting those new level armors when you rank up, getting those different weapons from the faction shop and obviously getting things like the chisels for making the keys, all that kind of good stuff. You will have a basically unlimited supply of points when you've done a few runs of this and it's very, very easy to do. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it today. So, as you guys can see on screen, this is where we are right now on the outpost map. And as you can see, we are at the East Burn Outpost in Great Cleave. Now, this is great for a few things. If you get a big group together, you can do all of these corrupted portals once you've got your tier 3 Azov staff. These are really, really good for XP and tons of other stuff, but we're going to get onto that in another video very, very soon. Today, what we're talking about is the PvP quest. Now, as you guys can see, I've only got two on the map here, but there is actually three in this area. What you need to do is go over to Frostbite, which is essentially this whole section here. Very big area, so it's very easy to do. Collect 80 wood, very simple. On the way to doing that, obviously, you can go and pick up your preserve package which is spawning at the number five icon on my map right here and then you just bring it down to essentially this little area on the map here and as you can see the guys in my party are currently doing this quest and then obviously in this area as well you just have to survive for one minute and 30 seconds in order to complete your third and final faction quest which means you can do all of this in one swift run run straight back and you'll be completed with it just stopping to cut down a couple of trees and this is very 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 quick probably the fastest method i have ever seen in the game and it's by far one of my favorites is how I've managed to get to max faction rep, got all of the gear that I need for my level and all that kind of good stuff which is really, really helpful. So as you guys can see from the gameplay in the background, you literally run up straight up the path into the area, collect the wood as you go in, go over to the package like I explained there, come back, gather any further wood you need, collect the other package, you'll have been done within the 1 minute 30 there as it takes about that to run across the zone and then straight back to the encampment where you will hand in the quest, repeat this and literally it takes like maybe half an hour to get up from Exubiter all the way up to Lumen and then Lumen up to Adjudicator there took me maybe about 45 minutes to an hour just running these back to back now obviously you do this in a five player group if you can because it will help it is PvP flag so you know if you've got a couple of people there to help out because there probably will be a few people doing this a lot of people are catching on so this is certainly something if you can get a group together it's certainly worth doing and obviously you can mass group this if you want to it's just slightly more efficient to do it in just a group of five or less simply because there's not as many people cutting down the trees there so that's what I would recommend obviously it's PvP so you do have have to be PvP flagged, which, you know, kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. You might be able to get some fights along the way, and if those people have been PvP flagged for a while and not died, you will actually get a nice bit of XP for killing them as well. So if you do manage to get a few kills along the way, that is not a bad thing either. So as you guys will see, when you are the Covenant, this is where we go. We go into this outpost here, as you can see on the map like I showed you before. Talk to Livia Luca, and then you can open up the faction board here. As you can see, I've got all of them done. Uh, the PvP ones are the one ones we're focusing on here. Be it for the preserve, you get 715 rep, 715 tokens, and then if we hover over it, you get 7.94 coins, 40 territory standing, and 460 XP. Now, obviously, territory standing in Great Cleave isn't a thing, so that doesn't really matter, but the other stuff is very, very good. Then we go to the next one, 340 XP, 575 on rep and tokens, very nice. And finally, 715 on both rep and tokens again, and 460 XP. So, you're getting just over 1.2k XP per run, and you're also getting about 2,000 tokens per run which as you can see here I've got about 2k there that's just off one run 
And I'm very, very close to getting the Adjudicator rank as well, which you need 49,000 reputation for, and 48,505. And because the speed you're able to do these at is really, really helpful. Now, as you guys will see, if I click into the menu and show you the shop, I am well above the level I'm at. Currently, I can get the Exubiter stuff at level 45, and I can equip this stuff, which is really nice. You can see here there are about 12,000 for the chest plates, 10,000 for the pants, uh, 6,000 for the gloves, 8k for the helmets, etc. Now, when you look onto Lumen, when you get to level 53, you can start to equip this gear, or for the weapons, it's actually going to be level 49. And you can see here, weapons are 20,000 each. Again, jackets, 24,000, 8,000 for boots, 16,000 for the helmets. So you're going to need a lot of these tokens, which is why doing this method to farm them is going to see you there very, very nicely. Then, obviously, when you get to Adjudicator, this is where the big guns come in. It's obviously level 60, it's tier 5, but it's going to be 50 thousand tokens for a weapon you'll probably want two and if you're using sword and shield that's obviously a third one and then obviously you got you on 20,000 for the helmets 15,000 for gloves chest plates 45k etc etc which means farming these tokens early doors even when you get to max reputation just getting as many of these tokens as physically possible on your current rank is always really really good keep upgrading that gear keep progressing to the next slot and this is by far the absolute fastest way I've found to do this so hopefully this does help you guys out and been able to do it yourselves get a load of those tokens going a load of those faction xp going and obviously get up to max faction rep and get the gear that you want to be able to have to give you guys kind of an advantage and an edge in the level region that you are currently in so hopefully you guys have found this video useful and informative if you have be sure to head over down below and drop me a like on the video as it really really does help me out if you are new here to the channel make sure you drop a subscribe with the notification bell on we've got tons and tons of cool content coming throughout the coming days and weeks all to do with new world some news some updates some info some some cool strategies, some little tips and tricks like this, all sorts of good stuff, so make sure you don't miss out on that. If you would like to join me live, I am going to be live streaming this evening over on twitch.tv forward slash invin with three ends on the end. It will be linked in the description and in the comments of this video down below. I'd love to see as many of you guys over there as possible. I'm going live daily from now onwards or pretty much every day, so it'd be great to see you guys over there for that one as well. If you would like to join the Discord community we have going, the link for that will also be in the description and comments. We've got a thousand plus community members in there now chatting all things new world so it'd be amazing to see you over there as well and other than that if you'd like to support me directly here as a content creator on youtube the join button is just below today's video where you can join the membership program if you click on the join button there you'll see the options we have available for members and other than that guys as always thank you very much for watching take care and peace